gentlemen, welcome along to the show. Let's get straight to it. Rangers were one nil up when we spoke in the cross a little while ago. They ended up one all. But a point is exactly what they needed, Chris. Yeah, it was. And in the last 32, but, you know, I don't think Stephen will be happy mm. that they're there. But in terms of leading the, the, the match for so long, and um, when you look at the potential um, teams that you could have had if you'd have talked to group, um, I'm not saying it would have been easier, but it's definitely a lot um, better than when you look at Ajax, Red Bull, Salzburg, Inter Milan, Benfica now, that potentially um, Rangers could draw um, because they finished second. But... You know, to get there, they'll be delighted. Well, I mean, we saw the scenes at the end, Gary McAllister hugging Stephen Gerrard. I mean, with the reflection of, of two teams, two the big teams, we're going, we're going to come on to Celtic as well, doing well in Europe for Scottish football. And Stephen Gerrard looks to pen a new deal with Glasgow Rangers. I mean, there's a commitment there from a manager that has taken to that big club really well, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been brilliant for his first managerial job. Um, he's done excellent. Obviously, they've got a lot smaller budgets than mm -hmm. especially the teams in England. Uh, but... He's closing the gap um, week by week with Celtic, to be fair, which is a difficult <coughs> job in itself. Well, it's huge, isn't it, trying to chase Celtic down? Celtic also in action at this evening. A much changed Celtic side, though, wasn't it? Because Yeah, but you know, they, 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 they had the group wrapped up mm. um, you know, a few weeks ago with two games to spare. So, you know, credit to them. Neil Lennon could, could make the changes that, um, that, you know, that he, he did tonight. And um, when you look at it, probably only Julian will start at the weekend. So that shows you the strength and depth that Celtic have got, um, albeit it was a a defeat tonight but you know Celtic deserve the right to, to go and play and give uh, you know other players the opportunity mm. you know having qualified a few weeks ago but you know it's it's great for Scottish football that two teams are, are in the last 32 you know both will be looking forward to the draw next week it's it's from where both clubs have been well Celtic have been in Europe but you know for Rangers the last few years mm. to to um, to get to the last 32 I'm sure they'll be delighted you mentioned that from a European point of view domestically <coughs> as Tom alluded to, it is extremely tight at the very top of the league, isn't it, between Celtic and Rangers. Is this something that that particular league has been crying out for? That, oh, that definitely. You know, I think that... Proper competition. You know, when, you, when, you see, when you see it there, how tight it is. Mm. Rangers obviously dropped two points against Aberdeen um, you know, pre prior to the, the cup final. But, you know, Rangers, I think, for me, now need to win every game. Um, before, Are they capable of doing that? Yeah. I think that, you know, until at least that... You know, old firm in the 29th because you know Celtic have got that extra game in there as well mm. next next week. So, you know, if, if you fall further behind, it's going to be very difficult to to you know to come back. But you know, the way Rangers are playing, um, the opportunities they're creating. You know, they can score goals against anyone. Um, you know, if Alfredo Morelos, especially at the weekend when you look back in the cup mm. final, the chances he had, he'll be disappointed. But it shows you uh, all good strikers gets himself back on the score sheet tonight. And is that the type of result that puts a bit of that disappointment of the weekend behind them slightly? It, obviously, you, you lost the cup at the weekend, but when you look at the performance, you know I don't think Rangers would be too disappointed in the mm. performance. You know it shows you how far they've they've uh, they've came and not in a, in a short period. Um, you know the last two games, I think they've well, they've lost the two of them, but for the bulk of possession against Celtic. So it's it's you know when you go to Celtic Park, um, you know at the end of the month, it's now finding a way to to beat them because when you when you look at the possession, and I know people go on about possession, but it shows you, mm. if you don't put the ball in the net, you know, you listen to all the, the guys coming out with all the stats and what they're doing <laughs> and everything, um, you know, it just shows you, if, if you don't put the ball in the net, you don't win games of football. 